Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wildman Lacquer. In today's video, as you can see, it is time to share another seasonal nail polish rack. This time we are doing spring 2024 and as always, my spring racks are part of a collaboration so make sure to check out the list down below for all of the other participants in their channels. A huge thank you to everyone that helped put this together, Nurse Jackie for putting the list together, Amanda the Nail Polish Hound for putting the group together and helping us all out. The list of their channels will also be down there in the description box with all of the other participants as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into my spring rack. As you can see, it's not the best organized just yet. I do still have some colors that I'm trying to work in. In today's video, we are starting on my organized end of the rack where my pinks and purples are. And as you can see, I have a lot of both of those. And interestingly enough, I feel like this season I'm aiming for some brighter colors than I used to in previous spring seasonal racks. So let's go ahead and see what I picked for spring. The first polish is from Great Lakes Lacquer. This one is called Strength Untold. This came from last year's Breast Cancer Awareness Box. And this one is one of the brighter colors, at least in the bottle. Mainly what you're going to see on the nail is a lot of that shimmer. So it is a brighter pink, but it's not an intensely pigmented pink because you're getting mostly a squishy pink with that beautiful shifting shimmer. So this one I swatched in two coats with a glossy top coat. This is going to be somewhere between a two and three coater depending on your nail length and application. This is one of those formulations where in some lights it's going to look just fine in two coats and then in other lights I feel like right here especially you can get that back light coming up and making it look more sheer. So it just sort of depends on how you like to wear your polish but you still get all of that amazing warm shimmer in that one. So that first polish was Great Lakes Lacquer Strength Untold. The next polish is another brighter pink, this time from Garden Path Lacquer, and this is Lana Sarah or Honeysuckle. And I want to say this was from their first collection when they rebranded from Lollipop to Garden Path, and I still have yet to wear this one, so I really want to get it on my nails. This is one of those colors that I felt like could go either spring or summer, and like I mentioned in the beginning, I am feeling slightly brighter colors, so I decided to try this in the spring. I think mainly what I'm really feeling is the shifting shimmer and I love the different colors that you're seeing, plus this does have flakies. So in that shifting shimmer, you're getting a beautiful green to gold, and also there's like an orange, not quite an intense, like bright orange, but there is an orange in there with the golden green. And this one I did in two coats with a glossy top coat as well. This is another one where I feel like in this lighting here in front of the camera, you're gonna see it as pretty sheer, but when I had it in other lights, it looked just fine with two coats. So this is another one where I'm gonna say it's somewhere between a two and three coater, again, depending on your nail length, your application, and how you like to wear this kind of a polish. But again, you can see that shimmer beautifully. You can see those flakies. They're a little bit sparse in here. They aren't the main attraction of the polish. They're just a little bit of a scattering there but you do get a little bit of a glimmer of a different coloration. There's a little bit of purple and green that you're seeing in those flakies. So that was Garden Path Lacquer's Lana Sara. Next up is another Great Lakes lacquer. This one is the Village Chief. This one came out in the Moana collection, and that entire collection, if you haven't seen it, is incredible. Look at that. Oh. This kind of a shifting shimmer just makes me so happy. So this one is kind of a grapefruit leaning pink and then you have that incredible shifting shimmer. The face of this one is more of like an electric gold but look at that blue. Plus at certain angles you're getting like a deeper pink almost leaning into purple. This one is going to be a sheerer formula. So this one I did do in three coats with a glossy top coat and it is so worth that extra coat. Look at that. This is such a beautiful shade of pink. Like I said, to me, this is kind of like a grapefruity pink where there's just that hint of a little bit of orange in there. And then that shimmer, you guys, that shimmer gets me every time. It is so stunning. I like that even in this lighting here, I do have four different light sources going on at the moment. You can see that blue and the green beautifully. So that is another one that I'm really excited to wear. I mean, obviously they're all on my rack and believe it or not, this is also pared down. <laughs> so the polishes that I do have left on this rack are sort of my cream of the crop at the moment, ones that I am super, super excited to wear. So that is Great Lakes Lacquer, The Village Chief. 
Next up is one from Lurid Lacquer. This was from their initial launch. This one is called Only Fools Fail to Admire. This one I thought would be a perfect color for spring because it is a light, delicate pink. And again, with the shimmer, we're going to see a trend here. I am really feeling these shifty, shifty shimmers this season. As you can see, I already put one on. This one is from Different Dimension. It's called I'm with the Band. And yeah, I love love transformative polishes, whether it's a shifting shimmer or a multi-chrome. Any kind of a pigment or flash or shift that is going to make an entertaining wearing experience gets me every time. Now, back to the polish. This one is a soft blush pink in that base, and there is like a shimmer in there that adds an additional brighter pink that you can see there. And then, of course, in that shifting shimmer, you have shades of orange, green, and gold. So here's that one in three coats with a glossy top coat. This one I did decide to go for three coats because it is such a pale pink. Adding that third coat to me, I felt really boosted up the color to its full potential from what it is in the bottle. And it is a stunning shade of pink. I love the pink on pink, that brighter tone of pink that you're getting in that shifting shimmer. And then the warmer tones that you're getting from the shifts in that shimmer. You see that orange popping up towards the top of the nail. And then in different lighting, you'll see the green and the gold. And if you want to see this tried over a few different colors, check out my video for Lumen Lacquer. I did an entire first impressions haul video for the entire collection from this, which was Thistle and Thorn, I believe. And I tried every single color in the collection over four different colors, I think, plus on its own. So it was really fun. Make sure to check it out if you haven't already. But this one made it to my spring rack. This is Only Fools Fail to Admire by Lurid Lacquer. Next up, we have one from Polished for Days. This one is Glow Pop, and this one actually is kind of close to the one that I'm wearing from Different Dimension, but I do feel that this one is different, and we will see it there on the swatch here in a second, but here it is in the bottle. This one is kind of a purple-leaning pink with holographic silver flakes and a beautiful shifting shimmer. Again, we are seeing a trend here with those shifting shimmers. This one has an intense like marigold yellow and then a beautiful blaze of a red. It is absolutely stunning. I feel like on camera there's also inside that red a pinch of an orange. So beautiful shifting shimmer there. And I think there at that angle you can sort of see what I mean about the base color being that purpley leaning pink. So here's Glow Pop. I did this one in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one is another one where I feel like some nail lengths might need a third, but I feel with this formulation being slightly more opaque than the other sheer polishes, this is one that I do think some people would be just fine with in two coats. And like I've been saying with the other sheer polishes, I feel like my lighting directly in front of the camera often makes them look a little bit more sheer than they will be in person on your natural nail when you're just in everyday light. But I mean, look at that glow. Wow, absolutely incredible. And here it is just to compare it to the different dimension that I have on my nails. And I think there you can see there's a big difference in the shimmer once they're on the nail. The one from different dimension has more of a gold face to it that happens to shift to green, whereas the one in the polished for days has a much warmer shimmer. But that one was polished for days glow pop. Next up, we have one from Bees Knees Lacquer. This one is unmade, and this is a beautiful, again, shimmer polish. The base to this one is kind of a magenta, a sheerer magenta, and then that shifting shimmer has a beautiful green to blurple, and then look at that orange peeking up there at the edges. On camera, it's showing up as orange. In person, I can also see a fuchsia behind it or in front of it, and in between the blue, there's purple. So this one has a lot of different shifts going on. It is absolutely stunning. So this one I did in three coats with a glossy top coat. And as you can see, this one does maintain a rather squishy ethereal look on the nail. Again, in this direct lighting, it is going to look its sheerest, but this is one that I do feel might not be quite so sheer in everyday lighting situations. But again, that shimmer in here is absolutely gorgeous. I guess if I wanted this to be more opaque, I could always try this over a few colors because I'm sure that shimmer would look incredible over a bunch of different colors. I'm just not too sure if I want to mess with how it looks, but we'll have to see. I could always try it over a very light orchid purple, but we'll see how I end up wearing it. But that was a stunning polish from Bees Knees Lacquer, so that was unmade. 
Next up is one from Different Dimension. This is Little Miss Naughty. And this one, I want to say I've pulled out a couple of different times for my seasonal racks, and I still have yet to get this on my nails. And it is such a beautiful polish. It is a little bit more simplistic than some of the other colors that I have, but it is beautiful. This is another, what I would describe as an orchid leaning purpley pink. And this time we have a larger particle trimmer, or maybe even a micro flake, and it has some subtle shifts to it. You're seeing a bit of a gold there with a light aqua flash or shift to it against the top of the bottle. So here's that one in two coats with a glossy top coat. This is another one where I do feel it's going to be somewhere between a two and three coater depending on your nail length and application, but the color is nice and delicate. It is just a beautiful color for spring, so I'm excited to try to get this on my nails this spring. That was Different Dimensions a Little Miss Naughty. Next up, we have one from Bow Nail Polish. This one is called Maze, and this is a really beautiful blush pink with a pinch of gray lean to it, which I don't think is really coming off on camera all that much, but you can see the beautiful flakes that are in here. I'm seeing iridescent and multi-chrome or ultra-chrome. You can see the difference there. You can see some that are pink. Those are the iridescent, and then ones that are flashing like a gold and emerald green or scarab green, and Blurple. So there's two different kinds of the ultra chrome or multi chrome. This is it in two coats with a glossy top coat. These remind me of crushed up flower petals in that cream base. So love the color for spring, and I also love how these remind me of flowers. So that was two coats with a glossy top coat. That one was Bow Polish Maze. Next up, we have another different dimension. This one is Quasar, and this is one that I think I got in either a mystery box or maybe through a D stash. You guys look at this one. It is absolutely incredible. I can't believe I haven't gotten this on my nails already. This one I definitely, definitely want to wear. I already know going in, I won't be able to wear my entire spring rack, but I will be trying to do like I did for winter and trying to wear three polishes at a time in a fun Skittles Manny. And I don't know if I want to do that with this one though. This one needs to be on all my nails. It is so incredible. So this one is again with sort of this orchid leaning pink. It has an intense larger particle linear hollow and it also has these incredible purple flakes. This is dazzling. <laughs> so here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. You can definitely see those little purple flakes in here quite nicely as well as that linear flare. I mean, look at that. It is freaking my camera out. It is just stunning. I almost think there's a shimmer as well because inside that linear hollow, you're getting a little bit of an orange flame. I can't quite tell if that's an additional shimmer or just how the hollow is playing in this color, but that is absolutely jaw dropping. So that was Different Dimension Quasar. Next up is one that I'm pretty sure I got in a mystery box. This is from Le Polish or L.E. Polish. This is Treat Yourself. Look at this fun mix. This is another orchid leaning pink that has a pinch of purple in it. And I love the mix of glitters that are in here. So we have iridescent in a couple of different sizes. Then there's matte black glitters in squares and hexes. And then little teeny tiny ones as well. There's also an iridescent shimmer in here. And here's that one in two coats with a glossy top coat. This one definitely had an opaque finish in these two coats because it is a creamy formula. I will say because it is a Crelly, I'm not really seeing the iridescent particles in here very easily. I mean, I can tell they're there, like they catch the light right there, but they're not as prominent as what I was seeing here in the bottle. So I might have to play around with how I wear this. And if I can't get them to show up, I might try thinning this out and seeing if that helps. Because I definitely like this look. I like being able to see those iridescent glitters a little bit more than I can here on the swatch, but I do love the matte black pieces in here against this color. So that was L.E. Polish, Treat Yourself. And then we're sticking with the theme with the names because this next one is from Femme Fatale and it is Treat Yo Elf. <laughs> this one is another absolutely stunning one for spring. Look at the fun colors in here. This is a much more squishy polish than the previous one. This one is definitely more of a jelly or a sheerer curly. And there are a bunch of different particles in here, iridescent flakies, and then really fun, bright glitters in hot pink, light blue, and yellow. 
and the base of this is another orchid color. There's also these darker purple glitters that I, for some reason, don't initially see because I'm too distracted by the brighter colors. But those add a nice little speckled look to the polish. So here it is in three coats with a glossy top coat. This one is definitely a three coater. I tried to keep it at two coats and I was just noticing that it was a little bit patchy still and the color definitely benefited from adding that third coat. But yet again, it is absolutely worth it for that third coat because look how adorable this looks. It is such a cute one for spring. It could also be a fun one for early summer because it does have those bright neon pink glitters. But yeah, such a fun, cute little polish and very unique to my collection. So that one was Femme Fatale's Treat Yo Elf. Next up is one from Lynn B. Designs. This one is called You Blithering Blockhead. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. This one I got in the Halloween Advent Calendar Box for 2022, and they were all Disney villain themed. So this one is a really beautiful, light, delicate color. In fact, I think I might try wearing this as a topper over a couple of colors, because this was definitely a sheer formula but look at the beautiful components. It has pink reflective glitter, it has a shifting shimmer, all in this very light, like gray leaning purpley pink silver, I don't even know how to describe it, base. It's really delicate, so I do feel it's perfect for spring. I think it could be equally fun to wear in the winter, but I want to try this as well as a topper and see how it might look over a few shades. So here's this one in three coats with a glossy top coat. Apologies about the broken nail there. But yeah, this is a very, very delicate shade. You can still see that bright pink reflective glitter a little bit. Mostly in this lighting, you're seeing it as a speckle, so it's not really catching the light. I'll see about getting some video of it doing its thing, but you can definitely see that vibrant shifting shimmer going from green to an orange and gold. And there in the bottle, you can definitely see those hot pink reflective glitters. So that was Lynn B. Designs, You Blithering Blockhead. Next up is one from Polished for Days. This is Over the Moon. I want to say it's possible that this one came from the same collection as, yeah, Glow Pop. So they both came from the Cloud Nine collection last spring, I believe. And this one is a beautiful light lavender. This one also has holographic fleeks in it. And again, with the amazing, amazing shimmer in here, this one is more of a similar shift to the one that I'm wearing from Different Dimension, where it's predominantly this yellow gold at the top. You do get some warmer shifts here to a brighter orange or marigold. And I think there's also a shift to like a lighter, almost silver. Here's that one in two coats with a glossy top coat. This is definitely one of the more opaque formulas and look how stunning this is just dazzling there on the nail. It looks like moonlight. Absolutely stunning. I could stare at that one all day. So that was polished for days over the moon. Next up, we have one from Barry M and this is Holographic Rocket. I want to say I saw this on someone else's channel a couple of years ago and I ended up grabbing this from a company here in the United States that was redistributing these because I do believe Barry M is a UK brand and they are kind of hard to come by. Yeah, they're London, UK. So they are a little bit harder to come by here in the States. But in any case, <laughs> this is a stunning holographic polish, especially from a mainstream brand, sort of a drugstore brand, if I have that right. Here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. And I mean, look at that hollow. They really go for it. Oftentimes, I feel like when you have a hollow from a drugstore mainstream brand, they sort of downplay the hollow. They don't really want to spend the money to put enough hollow in it. But I mean, look at this. This is incredible. It is absolutely stunning. We are dealing again with this orchid leaning pink. Another theme, I guess, is this orchid pink for me. And yeah, the hollow on this is just incredible. That's another one I am super excited to try. That is Barry M's Holographic Rocket. Next up is one from Tonic Polish, and this one is Titania. This is one that I am... Again, surprised I haven't worn already, but this is one of the last polishes that I bought from Tonic before they closed. This one is a squishy purple base with a stunning shifting shimmer again. And this one has these amazing hollow glitters in it. 
This is very unique to my collection. It is dazzling, stunning, all of the things. Here it is in three coats with a glossy top coat. This is definitely one that I would say is an absolute three coater. It was very, very sheer still in two coats. In fact, I might play around with this one over a few different colors, but I mean, look at that shimmer. It is gorgeous. You get that green, orange, more green. Then you get this scattering of the holographic glitters. This is just spectacularly beautiful. So we'll see how I end up wearing it. I might try it out maybe on a nail wheel over a few different colors or ways of layering it and see which one I like best, but it's another one that I just can't wait to get on my nails. That is Tonic Polish Titania. Next up is another one from Lindby Designs. This one is called Truvail, and we have another shifting polish. Like I said, there's a major theme here in my spring rack, but this one is a light purple. It has a squishy base to it, and it is loaded with an amazing shifting shimmer. There's also some hollow in here. This kind of a formula, oh my gosh, look at that. This kind of a formula I absolutely love because it has sparkles in it. It has the shifts in it. It has that squishy color. It's just got so much going on, so much for the eye to see. It is very entertaining on the nail. The shifts in this one are a beautiful bright green at the face. You have some blue at the edges and then up there towards the top, you have some orange and pink. And here is that one in three coats with a glossy top coat. Yeah, this is another just dazzling shimmer. I love it. When I saw the swatches on the Linby Design website, I knew I had to have it. In fact, this is one that I'm pretty sure I almost ended up buying another one of accidentally because I hadn't opened my previous purchase from Linby Designs. When I saw this on the website, I did go back and find out that it was in one of my packages that I hadn't opened. But yeah, this is very, very eye-catching. And I would say most people should be fine with three coats in this one. Although if you do have very long nails and a very prominent nail line, you might want this over a blurring base coat, unless you're okay seeing a little bit of light come through, but beautiful, beautiful polish. So that one was Linby Designs, Truvail. Next is another from Garden Path Lacquers. This one is Orcus or Orchid. This one came out in the same collection as Lanacera or Honeysuckle. And this one is a beautiful light purple, maybe a lilac, because it has a pinch of a pink to it. It has a, again, shifting shimmer, and this one also has flakes in it. So the shimmer on this has a green face to it and then shifts to a yellow greeny gold at the edges. And then the flakies in here are iridescent. I'm seeing pink, purple, and gold. And I think this also might have hollow. So this is it in two coats with a glossy top coat. Again, such a stunning, stunning formula. I do think that some people might want a third, depending on how it looks on your nails. But I love the combination of everything that's going on in here. It's just a stunning color. So that was Garden Path Lacquers, Orcus. Next, we have another from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is We Will Not Take His Stuff. <laughs> um, this is another stunning, stunning polish from Bees Knees Lacquer. If you're familiar with their formulations of this kind of a polish, this will be a jelly formula, but it has amazing shifting shimmer. This one has like an electric green, like a slime electric green. Mm, maybe not slime electric green, maybe more like the intense green that you see for villains in Disney movies. Very vibrant green, and then you have a beautiful shift to blue. Here it is in three coats with a glossy top coat, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it is definitely a squishy formula, so it just depends on how you like to wear this kind of polish on your nails. Personally, I've even worn this kind of a polish from Bees Knees in just two coats on my own natural nails and loved it. So it just sort of depends on your preference. If you wanted this more opaque, you could always put it over a matching undie. But as I've mentioned before, you do change how it looks. It's not going to have this softness around it. Although I have recently discovered that if you want to keep the softness, you could always put this over a much lighter color. So instead of matching the base, put it over a very, very soft purple. For instance, something along the lines of this. So you're going to keep the softness around the edges if you do it over a much lighter color instead of trying to match the intensity or vibrancy that you're seeing in the bottle. That'll get you closer to how it looks, but with opacity. But in any case, another beautiful shifting shimmer from Bees Knees. That one is We Will Not Take His 
stuff. <laughs> Next up is one from Lights Lacquer. This is Nebula. And this one I did get a while ago. Lights Lacquer has since changed to a completely different bottle and label. Not my favorite change. In any case, this polish is incredible and I still have yet to wear it. So I do want to get this one on my nails. We're dealing this time with kind of a dusty leaning lilac. It has a larger particle shifting shimmer that kind of goes icy blue to purple and a little bit of gold and orange at the edges. The particles in here are absolutely stunning. Very, very pretty. The entire trio that this one came out in was beautiful. I think I only ended up getting two of them though. So here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. So as you can see, the base definitely has more of a dusty quality to it compared to some of the other colors that we've been dealing with. I almost think that this could make a nice one for winter as well. But as I've mentioned before, <laughs> I'm definitely feeling these shifty, shifty shimmers. So I want to see if I can't get this one on my nails this season. So that one was Lights Lacquer Nebula. And then the last one on part one of my spring rack is from Red Eyed Lacquer. And this is I Can't, It'll Wrinkle My Dress. This one is definitely leading us into the purple family. And it is a light, squishy crelly. And look at these adorable flakies. So there are a couple of different kinds. My favorite one has to be the purple metallic flakes. But there's also iridescent flakes that flash in a beautiful green. And here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. Look how cute this is when it's swatched. Now, I will say I'm not really seeing the iridescent flakies as much, but honestly, I prefer it this way. I like that I can see mainly the purple metallic flakes in a very light lilac base. This is adorable and just perfect for spring. Cannot wait to wear that one. That one's red-eyed lacquer. I can't. It'll wrinkle my dress. And there we have it. That is part one of what I have on my spring rack for 2024. Again, make sure to check out the link down below for all of the other participants and their channels and make sure to check back for part two. We'll be looking at more purples and we might even dip into the blues. So yeah, make sure to check back for parts two, three, and probably parts four. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. If you're new, think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you in that next one.